Hallelujah. I'm just here, amen, to open up today. And we're going to go to Mother Charity, amen, and see if Deborah is ready and she's going to render a song for us. And then we're going to bring this mighty woman up, woman of God up today, amen. I've known her, amen. She and I have a beautiful relationship. She's the sweetest, sweetest young woman you ever want to meet, a pastor, amen. You know the Bible said in Jeremiah that he would give us pastors according to his own heart, amen. You have to have the heart of God to be a pastor. Hallelujah. And this woman of God has God's heart. Amen. She has a love and she has a compassion for God's people. Amen. So we're going to go briefly to Mother Mother Charity. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you all as well today. Hallelujah. We give all glory and honor to the Lord today. Amen. For he's certainly worthy of all praises. Yes, my daughter, she's downstairs on the extension, and so she can talk and she can hear everything that you all are saying. Praise the Lord. And so she's on there, amen, to uh, give praise unto the Lord, amen, in song today. So you all pray for her. Praise the Lord. Oh, you you can hear her now. She's talking. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Can you hear her? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Amen. 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 A treat. All righty. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to
his name. Tell all the people and every nation that he reigns. For Zion is calling me to a higher place of parade. Amen. You are anointed, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Voice. We thank God thank for you, Lord. You. Hallelujah. This is one of Mother Charity's daughters, and she's on the line. She don't say much, but she's on the line just about every day with Mother Charity. Listen. Hey, glory to God. Thank you, so thank you Jesus. God. Thank so you, God Jesus. is a great God. Yes, yes, yes. I marvel at the gifts that he has given to us. Praise Amen. the Lord. Thank, thank you, Jesus. You, Deborah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bless you. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord today. We have we have quite a few calls. I'm working this switchboard along today. We got about 16, 17 callers on Thank the you, line. Thank you, Lord so, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. But I just believe that God has anointed this woman of God that's coming, and we're going to ask her daughter, Sister Leslie, a beautiful young woman, and this is her daughter, Pastor Beatrice's daughter, and we're going to ask her to uh, just introduce her mother to us today. Amen. Praise Sister the Lord. Leslie. Praise the Lord. Sister Leslie. Ah, glory. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hi, okay. Um, my name is Leslie Priest, and I would like to introduce Pastor Beatrice Martin. She's the, um, She was called to ministry at the age of 15, and being young and called out, she endured many trials, which led her to the city of San Francisco, California, Um. When she reached San Francisco, she began to minister to women at Victory Outreach Women's Home, in where she ministered there for three years and became a church builder and was sent out to Portland, Oregon. She returned to California after finding out her son had been murdered in the streets of Oakland, and she wanted to be close to her only living child. She became known after that as the pastor with the bullhorn in the streets of Sacramento proclaiming the gospel to the lost and to those who stayed in urban areas. She would quote and rap scriptures in the Bible to appeal to the youth and those low in spirit. She would sing the names of the Bible as if it was an anthem, and the kids grew to love her. She later connected with her spiritual mother, Barbara Bridges, who poured into her life greatly. She believed in the vision and joined Restoration for Life Ministries. After she took pastoral classes and was licensed, doing, she followed her passion for women and youth, and God gave her a vision, hidden treasures with a passion for Jesus Christ. She began to bring hurting women into her home and hide them in the secret place of God, bringing them back with the power of Jesus to full restoration, only to glorify God. She is now the pastor of Restoration for Life Ministries 2, located in Stockton, California, and the owner and founder of Hidden Treasure Women's Home, Women's and Men Home. She is currently discipling future leaders of today and raising up an army to take Stockton, California back from the hands of the enemy. Her theme is a church with no walls, and to evangelize in the streets of Stockton, California, she does this daily. The well-known spiritual leaders and believes that churches coming together will only fulfill the will of God. I'd like to introduce my pastor, my mother, my friend, means so much to me, um, Pastor yes. Martin. Thank you. God bless okay. you. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. The song, Hallelujah. Uh, bless me. Uh, the, the words my daughter spoke, bless me. Um, 
Evangelist A.J. Menard, you have been a blessing to me. And everyone with their prayers and just even coming on the line has been a blessing not only to me, but also to the members in my church and to the women and the men that are in the homes as well. And I want to say thank you so much. It was a blessing that I met you, and through our meeting you, I met very other wonderful people in my life through you, and I just want to tell you thank you. I met your God. Oh, I met a lot of other people, Evangelist B. I met a lot of other people that has been a blessing and a tremendous blessing in my life, who now I call my sister, my grandmother, people that I love as well. Amen. Um, I just want to say, before I get started, I just want to take time out and give God all the glory and just praise and magnify God for what he's doing, not only just on these lines, but through our lives today. I, I just want to uh, uh, celebrate God for being the creator of the earth. I want to celebrate it because for it was God that created Eve, that was our first mother, amen. And I just want to uh, take time out to celebrate him because as I begin to study on uh, Eve, it began to just literally blow my mind. I began to find out that she had three names. She was called woman, she was taken out of man, and she was created to fulfill. And I began to find out that woman means madness. And Eve, her husband, both they were both called Adam, male and female. He called them Adam. And then I began to search and find out that God made them one flesh and gave them one name. And that's how man and wife became unity in marriage. And I began to find out that Eve was given, the name Eve was given after her transgression. And Adam called his wife Eve, and she was called the mother of, of all living. And I began to find out that God, she was called the mother of all living because she had a function and a destiny to multiply and replenish and refill the earth. And today, I just was thanking and praising God for how, even though she got tricked by the enemy, how through her sin came in the world, but then God created, God made her a promise that through the seed of another woman, which is Mary, that that, that seed will be bruised and that, that, that salvation will come into the world. So when I look at Eve, I see us all. I see Eve in all of us. Amen. But I would just begin to pray and thank God for his creation, for how he created her. It, it was just miracles taking place, and God was telling me that my miracles are still taking place today. He said he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. How the miracle of her being created. She was the first woman. She didn't have a mother. She wasn't a baby. She was born a full-grown woman, and that's a miracle in itself, and she came out of the man. And I began to just tell God, you are awesome. And I began to continue to read and find out that she, she sinned against God, but God forgave her. And through her forgiveness that God brought me through, her being asking God for forgiveness for her transgressions, how God created Mary to come and be a blessing to us with Jesus. So I just begin to praise God for the mothers. I praise Him for Mary being the carrier, Christ's mother. I, I just begin to just thank God as I begin to search out where did it start from, where did it come from. Who was the first mother, amen? And God began to just give me revelation after revelation. How we as mothers, Mary the mother, we can find Mary in, in all of us. Mary had a quiet spirit. She had self-control. She, uh, she was silent. She always worked behind the scenes. She was uh, shaking iniquity just like us. She had a flaw in her, her fairness because she knew that Christ was not only in the world just for others, but to be her Savior. And I just begin to praise God for Christ being my Savior today, because now today I can be a mother, where in times past I wasn't a mother. I didn't even know how to be a mother. But I begin to praise and thank God for saving me up and cleaning my life and turning my life around and, and filling me with his precious Holy Ghost and allowing me to be a mother again. Because of all that sin that I was in, I was addressed with a lot of other names. I was called a lot of other names. Anything but mother. Amen. But today, it's a blessing to hear my daughter call me her mother. And I just give God all the glory on that. Coming out of Proverbs. Uh, the 31st chapter, starting at verse 10. <gasps> Amen. It says, who can find a virtuous woman, a wife? For her work is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her. So 
so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like a merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food to the household and a portion of uh, provides food to her household and a portion for her main maid servant. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I just thank you for your word going forward on today. Lord God, I ask that you will use me as a vessel of honor for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. This writer is Solomon, and he's asking, he says, who can find a virtuous mother? Who can find? He's asking a question. Who can find a virtuous mother? This mother. Who can find this mother? This mother that she that that's in position. To find something means to be in position. To find means to locate. To find means a place, a person, a thing, in a movement, a situation, or condition that relates to a circumstance. He asks, who can find this virtuous? Mother, and even as he asks the question, she can be found. This virtuous woman can be found in a household. This virtuous mm. woman can be found in a prayer line. This virtuous woman can be found in her living room. This virtuous woman can be found walking down the streets in the supermarket and in the store. Who can find her? And he began to symbolize her as a merchant ship. He begins to say she is a merchant ship, and this. And him symbolizing her as being a merchant ship. This merchant ship describes a mother as a price that is far above rubies. She is priceless. Mm. Rubies are beautiful. Rubies are just some beautiful, and they're valuable. But he's saying that this precious ruby is far above the back. Then he began to place her as a merchant ship. And we all know that merchant ships must have a price. But he's saying this. This virtuous mo mother, this woman has got to be a Christian mother because mm. she realizes that even though this merchant ship, he calls her a merchant ship because mothers are like merchant ships. And he said, and this merchant ship has, has a pilot, and this pilot is Jesus Christ. And this pilot, mm. and this merchant ship is the pilot of the mother's heart that stay lit through her prayer. This merchant ship is guided with a compass. In the natural, we know that a merchant ship, are, they're guided with a compass, a by North Star. But this mother that they're calling a merchant ship, this true Christian mother, guides her oh, life and honor okay. by the word of God. Her life is guided through God's word. She speaks God's word. She prays God's word. Her, that's oh. the word is her compass when trouble rises in her life and in her children's life and in her God children life and in her spiritual children life and in her husband life and in her family life. She pull out her compass and which is Jesus Christ. And and this merchant ship brings precious cargo. And this is a mother that's saying, I'm, I got precious cargo. I got cargo all over the world. This mother ship has cargo all over the world. And these are souls. These are jewels. They are precious. They are priceless. And this mother says, I'm on this ship, and I know Jesus is the captain, and we got to go get this cargo. There's cargo all over the world in different lands, in different nations. But mothers all over the world are praying to the captain of the ship, which is Jesus. This mother wants to go and get this cargo so she can go and tell them, your riches and your wealth ain't out there in the world, but your riches mm -hmm. Your wealth is in Christ Jesus. This mother wants this cargo. She, she prayed for God to go get this cargo. Whether this cargo belongs to her, whether this soul is not hers or not, she might not even talk to him and don't even know him, but she's praying for God to go get these souls and so that the breath that, that she can pray the blessings of God into their life, the blessings from heaven, because the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add it no yeah, sorrow. Jesus. Yes. Out in the world, there's a lot of things that different children can get caught up in, whether they are spiritual children, whether they are natural children, or whether they're children that she don't know about. She's praying oh. for them. But then we also know that a merchant ship can endure storms. So this mother ship that's called the merchant ship, she can endure 
endures storms. How? Because she went through the storms of life, and she oh. knows what it is to go through storms, and she knows that Jesus is on that ship, and he ah. is the captain of the ship, and that through that oh. storm that he will protect her, he will keep the storms. Storms are not a threat to her because are her children, are those that she prayed for, because she knows that Jesus is in control of the storm. Come on. And then this mother, she knows she, she's not just sitting there. She's active. She's active and well stuck for the long journey. She's well stuck with fasting. She's well stuck with prayer. She's well oh. stuck with the word of God. She's well stuck with business. Jesus, Jesus, huh? She's well stuck. And she knows she's got to be well stuck because she's got a long journey. Not only is she living for herself, <laughs> but she's living for others. She's living Come for on. her children's children. She's living for her children's children's children. She's got to be well stuck for her loved ones. She's got to be oh. well stuck for her family so they can come to her, so they can pull, oh, my God. She knows that she has a long journey, but this Christian mother always is on duty, always there to bless someone and encourage and to comfort and to exalt and to lift up whether it's her daughter or whether she's her child or not. She looks at all of God's children as a daughter, mm -hmm. and she's ready to bless them. She's ready to encourage them. She's ready to uplift them. She's ready to let them know that Jesus is the captain of the ship, and there's no story that you can take care of in your life. She is the mother's mm. ship. And then this mother ship always had for harbor to unload her cargo. This Christian mother, this mother uh -huh. with the priceless <laughs> gift of love, this Christian mother knows that the ship is coming into the harbor because she's Come been on. praying and she knows that God is pulling her children in, that God is going to get them wherever they are. She's praying. Mm. She seeks to bring them around her into our harbor. What's the harbor? It is a place of safety. It is a place of security. It is a place of refuge and Come on, Jesus. you preach it. So when they come <laughs> and she see the ship pull up, she's right there waiting on them. I want to bring you into a place of safety. Yeah, I know you was out there in the world. Yeah, I know you was out in the safety zone. But now it's time uh. to come where there's safety, where there's security. You're not going to find it in drugs and alcohol. You're not going to find mm. it in a man. You're not going to find it out there. But you're going to find it in Christ Jesus. Mm. So she mm. wants her children to be prepared because not only do storms come, but the high seas are coming too. God come on, come on. But I want you to know there's some high seas that are going to come your way. Oh, that's yeah, going to knock you off the ship. But you've got to stay on board, my son. You've got to hey. stay on board, my daughter. And continue to let Jesus be the pilot of the ship. Because he mm. knows where to steer you. He's qualified to steer this ship through any storm. Hallelujah. Mm. So this oh, mother... This mother, this mother that seeks to bring him around to the harbor and to the security and safety of Christ, she sees the high seas before they even get there. Her children are oh, there, but she sees it, and she knows it, and she tells them, there's a way that's going to take you out of here, my God. She tells them, how does she see it? Because Jesus is the captain of the ship, and she goes to him and pray, and the pilot lets her know. That a storm is coming. The high seas are coming. Woo! Hallelujah. And this mother, this mother, this symbolic mother that he's calling emergency sheep, keeps nothing from them. She lets them know. She carries. She cares about others. She doesn't hide things from them. She reaches their destination. She's trying to get them to their destination. You know, mercy sheets just keep nothing. They unload. Mm. They don't keep nothing. They have to drop it off. What they carry is for others. And what she's carrying is for others. She knows it's not for her. That's why she presents her body as a living sacrifice, holy mm. and acceptable. God, Come on, which now. is her reasonable service. So she knows that everything she's carrying inside of her is not for herself. The goods that oh, she got inside of her 
Lord. Love, joy, peace, gentleness, meekness, self-control. The gift Go that's ahead. inside of her. The Holy Spirit. Oh. The gift that she's carrying inside of her. She knows Woo. she's got to unload them so God can reload. She knows she's got to unload so it can benefit others. This Christian oh. mother. This mother that's priceless. This mother knows she's unselfish. She wants to sacrifice her life. She spends oh. time in enriching others. She spends time in praying for others. She spends oh. time bringing out the best in others, telling them about how good they are, telling them about the gifts they got. She surrounds herself around people that are wounded so she can unload, unload that Jesus loves you. I know that there's nothing too hard for God. I know that you can be a mother. I raise my mama, kids. Mama. You can do it. Yeah, you've been through the storm. But I'm mm. going to tell you, you can make it. This Go mother ahead. encouraged not only her own children, but other children. Because she knows that there's an enemy of their soul out there. She knows that there's an enemy that comes to sink them and Ooh. snatch them off that boat and want to drown them. She knows that the enemy is harassing them. She knows that there ain't a circumstance that God can't bring her children through. So this mother, this symbolic, this word that he used as a mother, the mothership, this mother, this queen, my God, this queen, this mother that is after God's own heart, wants her children to be after God's own heart. So this mother intercedes, this mother prays, this mother oh. understands what it means when, when, when uh, Solomon says, who can find because yeah. this mother knows that she had the same conditions out there in the world, out there in the club, out there in the street. She was out there, but because Jesus was the captain of the ship, he went and called her. She used to be a cargo. She didn't know the past, my God. He went and picked her up, took her from her condition to her position, and he's asking, oh, who can geez. find them? Will you go out there and find those mothers that are wounded, those mothers that are hurting, those mothers that yeah, are hurting, those precious jewels that work above everything, those precious jewels that are priceless, Come on. those diamonds ah, ah. that are jewels out there. All I yeah. need to do is get on the ship and start praying, is get on mm. the ship and start interceding, is get on the ship and start crying out to me for those mm, mm, that are out there that suffer from different conditions. I can put them in that position like I put you in position. Position for what? Position to be mm, blessed. Hallelujah. Position mm, to know who they are. If you can find them, tell them that God needs them. Tell them that I need them. God is saying, if you find them, I want you to tell them that I need them to get in that position. That I need my, my, them. My. Wherever their location is, uh, if you don't know where they're living, then you can find out where they're living. Yes, you know, yes. Hallelujah. He's telling us there are mothers out there that are wounded, doesn't have to have an age on it. And here's this is Solomon crying out, who can find this virtuous one that has wisdom, oh. wisdom sitting at home, reading the Bible, not giving it out, but wisdom in action, my God. Oh, oh, and out of his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Who mm. can find this virtuous woman? A if you can find her, tell her, I need her. Tell her that it ain't a condition or circumstance mm. that I can't fix. I tell her, I need her to get in position because the enemy is trying to dispose her. And I need her to get in position. And I mm. need her to be a mother, to get on the mothership, that merchant mm. ship, mm. where Jesus is the pilot, my God. She's yes. been letting a lot of things lead her. But I am the pilot of that ship. And I want to lead her through every storm, through every Every situation and circumstances she's been going through, 
So this mother, this mother is a mm. praying mother. A praying this mother. This mother is a mother that gives wisdom. This priceless mother is a mother that in church. This priceless mother is a mother that prays. This priceless gift that you can't pay for her prayers, you can't buy her wisdom. You can't buy her prayers. You can't buy her. This mother, this first mm. one that gets down on her knees and prays, that gets up uh-huh. and says, she also rises while it is yet day. This tells me that she gets up early because she's concerned for others. She gives uh-huh. herself to care for others. So she has to get up early in the morning. Hallelujah. Even though she knows that Jesus is the pilot of her ship. Even though she mm. knows that Jesus is the anchor that holds. She gets up and she prays that God will fill the water for her children today. God fill the water. Let the water be peaceful today. Yes, we don't have to pray the waters out there. But God, because you are the shepherd, my mom, mm. God, she gets up in the morning and she prays. She prays for her children. She prays for her household. She intercedes for others. She's not worried yes. about herself, but she knows and she intercedes and prays for others that God is going to bring the harbor in, mm. that God is going to bring them treasures in, that God is going to bring them jewels in, that God is going to bring the diamonds in the rough end. She mm. knows that everything through her prayer that Jesus is constantly going out mm. and bringing the and bringing the ship, he's constantly going out on the ship and bringing the cargo in. That cargo, and then that cargo comes to the harbor, and that's where she meets women in church. Meet them in the ocean. Mm. Wherever he's Come on in now. Home, it might be in front of your house. It might be oh, in the grocery store. Be it might be at the hair shop. Wherever the pilot drops that cargo off. You've got to embrace them. You've got mm. to tell them how to leave your position and get into position. This mm. mother is a loving mother. This mother is praised mm. by her children, spiritual children, natural children. She's yeah. praised by her husband, and if she ain't got no husband, she's praised by the husband there. The team of mm. Jesus and the Lord of Lords. And they oh, honor her. Why? Because she extends her hand to the poor. She's yeah. not just wanting to get this harbor in to make money and get money. No. She wants to get this harvest in, this harbor in, so she can feed the poor. So yeah. she can meet the other hurting people. Verse 20 says, she extends her hand to the poor. She reaches out her hand to the needy. She Come is on. not afraid of snow or her household. For all her household is clothed in scarlet. She knows mm. her household is the blood of Jesus. She knows she's not worried about her household. She I knows know. she sees the blood of Jesus over her household. And it, and it goes on down and it says, in 22, she makes taffy for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Come she on, knows that on. she's a royal priesthood. She knows that she's an heir to the throne of God. She knows mm. that she's a, a, a superior people. She knows that she's royal. Purple represents the royalty in her, the God in her. And her husband is known at the gate. When he sits nah, on the elders of the land, she makes linen and garments and sell them and supply ashes mm. for, for merchants. She's making this She's making this, but it's not for herself. It's for all that's around. She wants to be blessed so she can be a blessing. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And honor is her clothing. You may look at the outward appearance, but God is looking at our heart. Strength that comes from God. Honor that comes from God. Oh, you know what It does and strength. And knowing that I can do all things through Christ, which gives me strength. She gets up in honor because she knows she has already honored the King of Kings. And she knows that the King is holding on his scepter to honor her death. She knows. 
Because when I was on the stairs, was out. Always, oh, mama, and when I was stranded, I asked you to get home. How do you want to? Where do you need a bus? Do you need a plane? Where do you need a plane? But mama, you ain't always crying. My mom has to be always there for all. And me, right? This gift that is your mother. The love that my mother has heard of me. Even my dad up there doing wrong. When I was saying I was up there in my even. Even when I see it, he mm. was a business. Mm. I turned my back on him and I get hurt of a feather fly. But I ain't gonna never be together. I ain't gonna never be there to do that. that. My mother that knew. The mother knew that I was. Cool. She knew that one day she moved and up on me. Never can. And she mm. had to be on her other five mm. So here, her, bitch, I'm blessed my mother. Because you're one and I always want to give her. Yes, I love her bad time. I gave her now. I her all the good. I'm giving her everything that time in me. God, all the good. Everything that God loved. I wasn't ready to be a daughter. I wasn't ready to be a mother then. But it could be a mother. Mm. But now, and there are mother. I'm here. Mother, uh. I want to thank God for, and I'm for the godmother, all the grandmothers, mothers, for the mean moms, mm. and the, for, the, for the big yeah. Mia, the nanny, mothers, for the moms. For the mother, for the mother, I want to say Mother's Day to you. And that you, the names that I call them all, are just called these names I know the sweet circle is. Jesus to that. And I love my mama. My mama, thank her. For the, and I just give the love of Christ. And I thank you, God, for his forgiveness. Give the love of Christ. Jesus. Uh, right up and got me close. Mom, Mary knew he was a perfect gift. And my sister was given to all that gift, mother, all of us. Now we have to draw from the gift in the child for me. I was the boy. He's there. This gift that was the best all grown up. Maybe it's a man. He's the captain of the ship. He's the captain. We have to go and get the boat. The car has to go slow and reach. So be a blessing to me. And so I tell him, all of my great mine. I celebrate you. I celebrate events here. I celebrate the list two events you next. I celebrate my mothers on the night. I pray for your love. May your reward will not. You are a gift. Your 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 gift. gift. Your 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 gift. And we have to share with our God bless you.